Adjusting to university life as a student is exciting but can also be challenging. Let's hear from some current University of Melbourne students about managing their mental health and well-being. I know uni seems really important and it's all about getting good marks or doing well in your assignment but like if you're doing all of that and you just, am I, am I allowed to swear? Probably not. It, like if you're feeling like shit, like it's just, it's not worth it. Like you want to get to the end of uni and say I had a really good time and I made all these friends and like it, at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if you did that well or not but like you want to like it, it does matter that you come out in one piece and that you had a good experience. It really took for me to stop and really talk to somebody to figure out what I needed to do. I needed a friend, somebody to uh, tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, I've noticed that you're not really doing that well. Do you want to talk to me about it or maybe there's somebody else that you can talk to about it? And that was a wake up call when I thought that I was doing my best to maintain this kind of outward, I'm doing fine appearance to everybody else, but the fact that it was starting to seep through onto the surface um, really pushed forward the idea that, hey, if this is something that other people are noticing too, then it's a problem that I have to acknowledge to myself. It's okay to reach out and ask for help because many of the students come from, come from South Asian and Asian cultures and they are very different. We don't talk openly about these things like mental health and feeling stressed and frustrated or depressed. We, it's not acceptable or it's not promoted or educated in the society. So when you come to Australia in a different environment away from family and friends, there is a different culture that exists here where people feel okay and you're feeling stressed. You, you are encouraged to share, it's all right. You cannot figure out all these problems since you just stay in your room. <laughs> you need to step out and try to get more opportunity and try to get more help. So uh, for me, uh, usually I will not uh, refuse the opportunity I can get. Um, and I will try to uh, learn something from each experience. And then it finally, it turns out some really lucky stuff. So yeah, I think this will help me a lot, like um, doing something which you think meaningful uh, can help you sort of find the value of yourself and sort of figure out the value in Australia. So I now do jujitsu three, four times a week, which is great. And it's just giving myself that time away from anything that's stressing me out and just focusing on that one thing and not letting anything else worry me. And that's kind of, yeah, I think identifying those things have, has been really key for me in managing my anxiety now that I'm back at uni on a daily basis. It's important, I think, there's a saying, something like healthy mind, healthy body. Um, the two go hand in hand. There are countless, countless benefits to doing exercise and your mental health is just one of them, but it's an important one. I found that the more I started to go outside and the more I started to uh, take care of my body, then the happier my mind was too. So that's extremely important.